All right, so now we're in the Chaos Realm. We're gonna go into the second battle. Are you ready? Up against Captain Dreadbeard. Uh, this is an interesting battle because it's actually a cannon that's shooting uh, at both the heroes and the villains. So I got my team, Snapshot, Spyro, and Hothead. And we're gonna give it a go. This has kind of been my main team for a while. If some of you guys have played me uh, on Skyliners Battlecast, I've used this uh, sort of trio a lot. Uh, so it says in the left corner there, the watch your head. So there's actually cannonballs that fly out through the match and will damage me and the villains. So interesting stage here where there's um, stuff happening all the time. Taking a look at some of my cards right here. I only have one gem, can't play anything. So I'm just going to go Spyro for my first attack. 50 damage on him, so that's good. And then there's a cannonball that just came out and hurt one of his guys, so that's funny. So spinning the crystals. Hoping that I'll get some more stuff. I have two cards that will use two gems, so the next time around I'll be able to use one of those cards at least. Taking some damage there. Uh, if you guys are new to my videos, my strategy videos here, I'm trying to do some gameplay of kind of these harder boss battles in Skylanders Battlecast. The game is pretty difficult in some areas, and it takes a lot of sort of concentration and. Um, you know, just planning, planning and plotting, tactics. It's not a quick, you know, tapping <laughs> buttons kind of thing. Oh yeah! All right, so I'm playing a relic. I do believe that's the one that oh, health. I was kind of a little desperate there on which cards to play. Looking at my deck, Time I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's get Turn old Hothead in here. Hothead is sort of my big giant Aye. guy, literally, who takes a lot of damage and protects Snapshot and Spyro, so they can kind of kick it in the back there. So that's kind of my strategy. Okay, enemy turn, Arcane Prism. When you play a spell, shocks random oh, hey. shocks some guys on me. Retreat. Uh, looks like a relic popped up next to him also, so I'm gonna have to try and take that out. And there's a bomb that just went out and hit Spyro. Okay, my turn, what do we got? The Tempest, don't have enough gems for that. I have three gems. Pretty much do flame, flame wave here, which is great because that actually takes out the relic. I like to save that card for when a villain plays the relic or an opponent. I can use that flame wave most of the time to take Need out to cool off. the relic. Back now I'm pulling guy. snapshot in here with some offensive damage. Uh, he's a little stronger on the offense than Hothead was. And he's got a lot of health, 350, so we're good with that. So far, everybody on the team's got less health than me. I'm feeling comfortable. I know Captain Dreadbeard's. Got some tricks up his sleeve. Uh, there's a waterfall. We're gonna restore health. This actually kind of screws me up a little bit because I think that sort of muted. Some of these cards sort of mute Reporting your character, you. and it's hard to really figure out at first what the heck happened. And you're like, oh, I can't attack or something, or you can't swap out. Uh, so one of these, I remember when I was playing this, one of these matches, I was trying to do something I couldn't. So here's one of the cards I like Don't for Snapshot. This will actually go in and kind of ricochet two characters. So that gives gives a nice... Anything that gives two characters a hit <laughs> plus by me. I'm starting to level up here to level two. So now my Sharpshooter Magic card just appeared. So that's good. I'm going to drop Hothead back in just to intimidate. Looks like Spyro just took some cannonball damage back there. Bummer. I got a little crystal bonus. One crystal. So it looks like we're going to have six crystals on the next pick. So that's good. I have two cards in my hand that take six gems. So I'll have a couple of heavy hitter cards that I can play. Jolly uh, Let's see. He is playing Chalk Albatross and Rising up. So now he's a little higher. Did the Anvil Bonk with. There you go. A lot, a lot going on here once time to sort of read these cards while they're popping up and narrate and give some tips. So I've got... Alright, so I've got one of the um, the abilities on my head. I forgot what the heck I just played. Well, maybe he played that to drop it on my head. We got this. Spells, gears, relics, and characters. So I guess it would be... A all right, 40 damage, not bad. I kind of want to oh. keep Hothead in there just to kind of like mess up their plans because they're probably thinking, man, we got to take out Spyro and Snapshot. And I'm just kind of leaving Hothead in there as kind of this, uh, this right buddy. Okay, so here's trap. one. Uh, Captain Dreadbit, I went so fast, but I think that sneered them all, so I can't do any 
swapping. We'll see what happens if I my swapping arrow or not. I remember Captain Dreadbeard was doing some tricky stuff, muting and snaring, and that became a little a little troublesome for me. You'll see soon when I start to get in trouble. I got six gems, and I got six cards that I can use six gems. Look, the enemy, um, another warp. Okay, I'm gonna try that one. So that's good. I got a minus hundred right there. That little bomb, grenade bomb or whatever, is drained power. As I'm gonna go ahead and take him down to 10 health. But you'll actually see, he actually died right there, and I don't know if it was weird. I was like, was that for me, or was that for the cannonball? I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> but either way, KO, our first KO, so that's great. It's always great to draw first Skyland or Blood. <laughs> I don't want to sound violent, but... Alright, so I'm looking pretty good. I got more health than all my villains. Uh, blowback to tosses that out. This guy's got Continuing some bombs. My mission. Celebrating. <laughs> Tangled. Okay, subdued. Okay, subdued is the worst. Okay, so here I get subdued, and I think that means that I can't attack with like a regular attack. I could still use some cards, so I drop out some like spell cards and stuff. But I make a critical mistake, I use that card to boost me up, but then I don't think I can use that boost to attack because I've been subdued. Um, there's a little switcheroo there. For some reason I didn't do a switcheroo, I'm not quite sure. There must be a counter spell with that. So here, I'm trying to attack right here. You can see it's it's I'm looking at my cards. I can't attack, so I kind of did a little bit of a mess up there. And I had to end my turn. And I would have killed him had I been able to attack with his health being only at 80. So gotta watch out, gotta try and pay attention. Gotta sort of plan for these things. But being being some dude, that's the word. Kinda like frozen. Can't really do anything. It seems like a lot of villains have that subdued. Thing here, Arcane Prison. Okay, he's got some gears, some spells, some uh, Back in my relics. <laughs> There's a lot of command. stuff that they're playing with right here. <clears throat> Captain Dreadbeard and Bombshell trying to feel out, you know, what what the heck they're playing. Yeah, you get a little nervous. Who looked like that was right between my legs there? Oh, bomb just knocked, knocked into Captain Dreadbeard, so that's good. Okay, your turn. Things are getting a little intense. We gotta make sure we're doing this right. So I'm gonna charge myself up with a spell, and we're gonna attack 100, which is actually pretty good for you know defensive character like Hothead. And I have seven gems left, so any one of these six cards I can play. Looking for sort of a health card right there, and I decide, you know, let's go ahead and snipe. My thought is that Dreadbeard will probably be harder to destroy than the other character, less tricks. He'll have more tricks up his sleeve, so that's why I'm sort of picking on Dreadbeard right there. Oh, Snapshot just comes in and gets hit by a big giant cannonball. That's no fun. This is a tricky level because, you know, it just kind of alternates sides with who's getting hit with the cannonballs right there. Okay, Douse, we get muted, so I think that means so that yeah, oh, the spells. I'm still trying to figure out, like, the muted, the snared, the subdued. Subdued, I think you lose kind of a turn. Snare, you can swap out, and the muted, I think you can't use like your character specific there magic cards, but just still for so any sense out. Looks did. like a cannonball, might have KO'd Captain Dreadbeard there. So now it's just, uh, oh we got Hothead KO'd as well, so just Snapshot <coughs> and Spyro. And uh, look, I'm, I think I'm sitting pretty here, see I'm, I can't use my spell card there, you can see the little note symbol on there, but... Oh, yeah. With all those gems, I should be able to do something. Dropping a, a gear on my head, give myself a little boost here. Or a little shield. Helmet shield. Tide is rising. So he's got 80 health. Um, let's see, we're gonna drop later, Spyro later. in the mix. Go time. And here here it is. Moment of truth. 150 health. Ah. Um what's gonna happen? <laughs> Edge of my seat right now. Didn't get a crystal bonus. I'm not really sure if you can get a crystal bonus when you have Bang 10 on your turn. Slow and steady, plant 5 bombs at the start of the turn. So that's a trigger for the continuous uh, sort of power up there. Spyro taking 40 damage. Uh, this guy's just dropping bombs like crazy. Look at this, I got 20 health. Oh, and a KO from Snapshot in the back there. I guess we got some ricochet damage. And I just got hit again by one of his bombs. I've got 10% health. He has 80% health. I've got 10 gems. Got some cards in my hands. I gotta make sure I'm playing all the right cards to get 
to knock this guy out. This is my last chance here, so I get a spell card. Minus 10%. That goes towards the character and his relic, so that's helpful. And a little bit of a boost right here, which is gonna level me up to level two, and then a duty damage. Boom, knockout. Victory. Spyro with 10 Can't hearts. Whew, I was on the edge of my seat. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what kind of strategies you take on when uh, going against the, some of the big giant bosses, Captain Dreadbeard and beyond. For CoinAppTV, we'll see you, Portal Masters, next time.